Welcome everybody to another Voice of Nick live stream. We're going to be playing more Bloodborne today, and uh, we're getting ready to take on what might be a boss. So let's see what happens with that, guys. If you don't know the channel, it's called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week. It's all story-focused games on here, and I don't talk over the story or cutscene moments, but they are what we call ultra-blind playthroughs, so I do request no one utilize their own pre-existing knowledge of the game or suggest what to do in the game, whether or not they've played it before. If you want to see which games are being played on the channel, you can type exclamation mark games in the chat. You'll get a full list of all uh, eight concurrent gameplay series going now, including Bloodborne. And if you like what you see today, don't forget to hit that follow button. Up top, you see a follower goal of seven. We're currently at one right now. So we have tink broken ground on that follower goal. The 25th entry of the Twitch playbook is out right now as well. That one is called... Uh, learn to love the grind of Twitch streaming, and that one is going to help you to stay in Twitch for the long haul and not to get burned out on the process of building your channel. Now, if you don't know the Twitch Playbook, it is a free podcast that I created to help all of you guys in this community either create your own Twitch channels from scratch or improve on an existing channel if you already have one. Every episode is uh, 10 minutes or less, so it's very bite-sized, and it's been coming out for the last 25 weeks in a row, so there's plenty of it. You can find it on iTunes, Spotify, all the major podcast platforms by searching the Twitch Playbook, or you can type exclamation mark playbook in the chat right here. you get a link directly to it. Now let's jump into the stream, ladies and gents. Let's play some Bloodborne. Welcome Decaf into the show with that Bless Us With Blood. Thank you, Decaf, for the blessings. Let's hope that it serves us well. We are about to be uh, coming up upon something. So we're about 30 hours into the game. I'm pretty happy with our with our 30 hours, our performance over 30 hours. Okay, so we've we've spent all of our our money. That's good. A negligible amount of souls to uh, to lose. And now we uh, attempt to fight this boss. So let's see what happens. Let's see what is out there. Rose Marinus. Oh. That's different than the flame thing. I wonder how we get that. Decap was looking at Sea of Thieves map. Didn't realize how many locations there were. Yeah, there's definitely a lot in it. They've added a lot since I've played it as well. So, ah, coffee. Do you guys think I see a snake man? Yeah. Plenty of those. So I would like to find a run a run to the uh, boss, which we might as well do right now. Let's try and do a run. Okay, so what do we actually have to worry about? Not much. You're saying 63 locations? Nice. Whoops. Well, we don't have a perfect run exactly, but let's see what we can do. So the point during this um, exercise here is not to is not to uh, avoid dying. It's to figure out how we can most efficiently get to the boss without dying. Uh, but obviously, in order to figure that out, you need to die a few times on the way. So let's see what happens here. Oop, that's not the right way. So we want to go this way. We also gotta avoid the uh, poison. And now, hmm, 
We're trying to find this one secret passageway. It might be right here. It'll lead us down to where the aliens are. Oh, this is where this guy is. Okay, that's where we're trying to get to, so we have to go back. Whoa! Oh, see? That's why we don't worry about our, uh, about our souls. Again, the point during this exercise is not to avoid dying. It's to uh, find the path without wasting our time. The, uh, the point is that our 10 minutes of searching is more valuable than losing 100 souls on our way or collecting whatever amount of souls would be in the middle because we, don't, we want to expect that we will die during the boss fight. It's a different way to play than a lot of other people do, but it uh, certainly instills me with confidence when I play Souls games. And confidence is key. Do you guys think aliens? I missed an episode because I don't remember aliens. Yeah, we found some kind of bulbous head gray guys, and I've, I've dubbed them aliens. So uh, I'm not sure whether or not they're aliens. But... Um, it would be cool if they were. They definitely make noises like aliens too. You could be the judge of that. You'll see them when we uh, when we run into that area. So those hundred or three hundred something souls are consigned to oblivion. Not that it actually matters. But now what we're really trying to do is to go through here. So we want to go this way because we don't want to have to fight the uh, big snakeman. And the thing is, if we go too far in our you know efforts, then we will find the uh, boar. And if we find the boar, we've, we've gone too far and we will be killed instantly, as we just found out. So we gotta not do that. This is the wrong area. So we have to figure out where the right area is. It might be jumping down here, honestly. There's a snake in that tree, yep. I think it might be here. Let's see what goes this way. Aha! Nobody can get me now. Ooh, another new thing. And this might actually be the right area. A grave guard mask. Oh, that's right. We got the grave guard outfit. But we never got the helmet. Graveguard mask. Oh, look at that thing. That's pretty spooky. That's like a um, the mask of a ghost ghost face guy. Mask of Doris, Graveguard of the Forbidden Woods. His pale countenance mimics the Labyrinth Watchers. The Labyrinth Watchers. Willem kept two loyal servants back at Bergenworth. When they were sent to the Labyrinth, they encountered the Eldritch Truth and went mad. One became the password gatekeeper, while Doris became a graveyard of the forest. Both remained loyal, even in madness. Let's see here. What's our, let's look at our current uh, headgear. So the Graveguard mask has better physical defense, slightly. Worse in every other respect, so we're gonna get rid of it. Uh, better frenzy resistance. Yeah, most of the other stuff is pretty bad though. Do you guys think uh, Prometheus from Arrow? Oh, I don't know that guy. So that's where the um, pigman is. And if we go to the pigman, that means we've gone too far. So we have to go back this way. Whoa, almost jumped. Aha, that's where the aliens are. Okay, so we know that this is how we get to there. We have to watch out because they have uh, magic that, oh no, these guys don't have magic. There's another type of guy that has magic. See, look at these guys. They got these bulbous heads, the gray bodies. They seem a little alien-esque to me, but we'll see what happens. Run. Those guys have magic, so we have to watch out for them. And what we're trying to do once again is to get to the boss without having to fight anyone, which we seem to be doing pretty well. Uh, if we cut out that part where I was discovering the new item, we've done this essentially flawlessly, and this is what I think might be a boss. Let's find out. I don't think anyone's chasing us either. 
Good stuff, guys. Boss run. And now we've saved dozens of, of potentially frustrating attempts of like go fighting through everybody and then not actually, you know, beating a boss. So there's this um, this boar over here. I'm starting to think there might not actually be a boss though. Whoops. Well, at least we got to this area without having to fight. <laughs> that works too. That works too. Doesn't that look like a boss zone though? It looks like an area where you would fight a boss. Oh, hello. Aha! Got him! Good stuff. I'm just gonna carry this guy along with me. <laughs> so this um, boar monster is... Where did he go? Oh, he's, he's walking around over there. I wanna go kill him because I'm not sure that we have ever ex investigated this area. Time for sneak attacks. Oh, maybe we can get up behind him then. I think I've been here. I think this leads back to where the boar, the other boar monster was. There's a guy there. Yeah, I think this, yep, yeah, that's where the tree branch is. So we've been to this whole area. Now what I wanna do is try and kill this boar monster and check his whole zone. So he's over, the, he's coming this way. I don't think he's aware of us though. Let's stand back here. Sneaky. Alright, here we go, here we go. Whew! Boar monster. Come on. He's gotta be getting close. Maybe he doesn't go this way. Oh yeah, he's, he's over there. Aha, I can go over here. Oh God, hello, oh God. Monsters. Did not see those guys. Oh, they're giving me a lot of blood vials. Thank you, game. Dissipating lake? Wow, look at all these blood vials. You guys saying lagoon men. Yeah, I like that. Lagoon men. Let's check this new uh, thing here. Dissipating lake. One of the lake runes. Increases bolt damage reduction? Okay. A carol. A carol rune that transcribes inhuman sounds. This transcription of the Great One's inhuman voices ripples like a watery reflection. The room means lake, and those who memorize it enjoy reduced bolt damage. Alright. So how might we get behind this guy? Whoa, I think he sees us. Can I get behind here? I don't think he can get us back here. But does he know where we are? Oh yeah, he does. Does he? He might not. I don't think he's doing anything. Oh yeah, he knows. He knows. Can we? Oh, oh man. Oh crap. Damn, big hits. 
Oh, we can get him with this! Wow! Honestly, I didn't think we'd be able to get him with a visceral attack. And he gave me two blood vials. Thank you, Pigman. Okay, good. Now we can actually look around. Send some hype, ladies and gents. We're making bacon tonight. And for the next 45 nights, because that guy has a lot of meat on him. Decaf sending that hype. Thank you, Decaf. Okay, this looks like... This is actually a new area. Okay. So there's two new areas. Oh, crap. Wow, they're so nice to me. Oh, they just will not stop giving me blood vials. This is great. There's two new areas. One's next to where we thought the boss battle was. And one is here. This is the whole staircase thing over here. Hello. So we don't want him to charge. We just want him to do his attack. Oh, big hit. Got him. Oh. Did we get him into the fire? Got him. Oh, baby. Alright, I believe that's a total of 90 days for the bacon now. We're really racking up that bacon. Oh, this looks like a boss to me. Yeah, remember this area? Okay, I remember we could have jumped down there and I, I didn't uh, even remember it existed. Okay. Decap getting a clip bacon for days. Good stuff. Few notes. Beware of hidden path? Oh, wow. That's fun. Okay, now we shall see what's over here. But if it looks like a boss, we're going to leave. Because, well, we don't have that many souls, but I would rather do other stuff. Oh, if we go back up here, I bet this is going to be the area that we could have jumped down from before. Oh, what is this? Secret? There's what? A, a man with snakes on his head? Ha ha! Now we clearly don't want to go fight him on his turf. We want him to come over here. You never know what he's got over there. Got him. Good stuff. Oh, jeez, he's still alive. Me and my hubris. I always forget that they don't die with a backstab in this game. Clockwise metamorphosis. Decaf getting another clip about bacon? Oh, the second one? Nice. Good stuff. Oh, Clockwise is the first one on our list. Secret symbol left by Carol. Boost max HP. That's pretty good. The twisted cross means metamorphosis. Rotated clockwise, this rune boosts HP. Okay. 90 days of bacon. Plenty of it. I hope it lasts. Gotta have a good refrigerator for that one. So does it, is this a shortcut that leads us back somewhere? Oh, this is where we could have dropped down to. I think. Yeah, wait a sec, because that is another area that we've been to. And we could drop down, we could have dropped down, but I uh, thought that there was no way to get back. And I was, I was right, we shouldn't have dropped down. We ended up getting there anyway. Never go to an area you don't know how to return back from in a Souls game. It's rule number one. Okay, so now we're above the snake guy. I'm curious. That doesn't look like an area you can jump to. It's not like a flat ground. And this is going to lead us back down to an area we've been as well. So now we've, we've found everything over here. Now there's only two areas that we can possibly go. One of them I'm thinking is a boss. One of them I think is not. 
Let's check the one we think is a boss first. <laughs> Do you guys think I feel like that might be rule number one in life in general? Yeah, you know, you wouldn't be wrong. Generally, uh, sort of wise advice. Okay, here we go. Now, we shall continue looking around. Wait, there's two areas here? Oh, I think this is where we came from. And we recognized the zone and we went backwards. I think that's what we did, yeah. Yeah, 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 this is right. You come to the right place. Okay, there might be a um, thingy here. There might be a thingy here. Beware of ambush. Uh-oh. Fierce snake. Time for strong foes. Uh oh. Is this gonna be a boss? Don't give up. It looks sort of boss esque after this area, which means we shouldn't do this first. There's plenty of other stuff we can do before we attempt to fight a boss. Now we know where this guy is, and it's very easy to get back to him. So let's go back. Now let's do the other area first so we can collect everything. So yeah, that's the zone. That looks very much like a boss area. Oh yeah, look, because there's a um, there's a fog wall right there. Okay, and you know what it is? It's probably one of those bosses where you get to the room and you didn't even know that it was a boss and then it only becomes a fog well later. Okay, so now all the way back over here, there was an area going up that we could have gone to. That's where we came from, or that's where you've been before, not where we came from this time. This is it. This is where we thought was a boss area, and there's this area up over here that we did not check. Do you get back into working on the pirate story? Yeah, I was excited to hear that. The cold wind blows. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. Wait, so wi uh, this is another elevator. I wonder if it works. It seems to work. Here you go. And this, oh, this is another big shortcut. So all we have to do for this is go across the bridge. We have to kill the one guy. Oh wait, this might not be where I thought it was. I don't think it is. Also, there's another guy here. All right, where, let's see. Oh yeah, 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 this is the bridge. Okay, well let's fight him individually then. Decap, where would you post a teaser for it? Um, I guess it would be your call. Probably uh, creative or share your work or something. There's not really a wrong answer as long as it applies. Go. 
Oh! Got him. Okay, so now we unlocked a major shortcut. And you know what? The only reason we unlocked it is because we actually took the time when we thought we saw a boss to not go fight the boss. That's so major, the thing that we just found. Oh my god, it's a huge shortcut. All right, good stuff. And that's why searching around in souls and being willing to go all the way back a thousand times is the superior, in my opinion, way to play. All right, we have the ability to buy a lot of stuff. We might wanna get, honestly, I don't want the armor set, but we might wanna buy it just in case it'll only sell us more after we've purchased everything. How many of these uh, things do we have? We have 156 blood vials. We're probably good on those. Let's get uh, some of these now. We can buy two pieces of this. We'll buy uh, the gloves, we'll buy the head. And that's that. I think we already read this. They contain much more than mere hunter trinkets. Indeed, they hire the very secrets of the old ones, sought after by those with the insight to imagine greatness. All right, let's see if we can put those on. Tomb Prospector, Hood, better physical, better th versus thrust, worse most regards. Yeah, it's kind of just a worse version of this, except it has higher physical. What about these? This has better bolt resist. This is actually pretty similar, but better in most regards, actually. Let's put on this then, Tomb Prospector gloves. Nice, it's like falconer gloves. All right, we ended up actually using this, that's good. So we literally can't buy any more pebbles. We're all good on that front. Okay, now, now we go. Here we go. TCAP posted it on uh, Discord, nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Tumero Root Chalice. I, I would like to go in another chalice dungeon. I wonder if we have to delete our existing one in order to do it. I don't think so, because we have multiple gravestones. But it might be that like we haven't unlocked the ability to use all of the other gravestones yet. Something like that. Decap getting a quote. These are all pretty much the same thing, except this one is worse. Yeah? Truer words? Never been spoken. That is the best way to think about any soul's uh, any soul's costume piece. Okay, now we want to go from here to this area. Go down the elevator. And here we go. Boss time. All we have to do is get past the, uh, the pig man. And a couple of other enemies. We can run this way past him. Oh, well that hurt me a little bit. If we go past Pigman into... Hmm, how would we actually get past him? Maybe we could just kind of follow. Ideally, we don't want to have to fight anybody. But we might have to fight Pigman. If we can get under here... Yeah, now we're good. Oh, but okay. Now this guy will give us a uh, a blood echo or a blood blood vial. 
Ow! These guys we can kill for their blood vials, I guess. Oh, no, no, we don't even... Oh, we do need them. Okay. Assuming that they will drop blood vials, which we're not sure about. Oh, come on. Okay, so I messed that up because now we only have 19 and we have a little bit of damage. Okay, so let's run. And all we have to do... Oh, there's another pigment. I forgot about him. I don't think he'll get us, though. So now we want to go down. And now we fight. Wish me luck, ladies and gents. Let's do it. Who are we fighting today? Perfected our boss run almost. Oh, three guys. Uh-oh. Ring rates! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, okay. That went quick enough. So, okay. There's a pretty clear um, answer to the first thing, which is... Uh, the first guy we kill is the is the caster. That's obvious. All right, so uh, we learned a valuable lesson. Good stuff. Do you guys say ring ray squad? Firecaster ring ray squad. Yeah, that was a pretty bad uh, showing. I thought he, what I didn't expect was that because I put the gravestones between me and his his shot, but he shot homing missiles, so they actually went around the gravestone. So uh, yeah, that kind of makes him into a little bit more of a bother than I would rather have to worry about. So let's kill him first. We have to figure out which of the three he is. And also if we put enough distance between us and him, if we can effectively dodge his, uh, his fire. We'll have to see. Do you guys think it sounds like a terrible Yarnum boy band that I would absolutely listen to? What were they called? The Shadows of Yarnum or something? Yeah, I, it's, it does sound pretty good. Let's see. Let's uh, see if we can continue perfecting our run. They, they kind of created that underneath area so that you don't have to worry about Pigman. And again, the point of us doing this and having our perfect run is so that we don't care about whether or not we die. It doesn't matter whether we die or not because uh, we don't lose anything. I'm going into the battle with no souls. Run! Okay, here's the next guy. Decap, it's not a big deal if we die and lose our souls. Yeah! There we go. And now this is a truly perfect boss run. Now all we have to do is kill the boss. That's the actual part. Remember I said it was going to be an area where you walk in, don't realize it's a boss, and then they put a fog wall afterwards. So I guess that. Oh, we can see which one is the caster. All right, then. And he's actually not that hard to dodge. But as always, we have consigned our souls to oblivion. This guy's not that tough. All we have to do is... Uh, manage him while the other guys are, are fighting us. Uh-oh, do they have snakes? Uh-oh, we're gonna have to take them out pretty quick. Alright, we got the first one, good. Second guy's got a fire sword now, that's a bummer. We're gonna try our gun. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby! All right, send some hearts, ladies and gents. We're in business.
These guys don't really have any range, so we're in a pretty good spot here. Uh oh. All we gotta do is not get hit like that. We have 18 vials, and we already killed one of them. The Nismar, welcome to the stream. Whoops. Oh, crap. I can't get over to him in time. Yeah. Oh, that's what how he was getting us. He has the big old arm. Okay. Ah! That's screwing me. Whoops. Oh, see, I didn't expect that. All right, so we obviously have to account for that. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. Um, that's our second death, and we already got them pretty uh, pretty well off. So the thing is that they do have range. Once they transform, they will have range. It's pretty clear, uh, a few things were pretty clear instantly what we're supposed to do is that number one we have to uh, we have to uh, kill the caster first number two we can't uh, back off when he starts transforming um, so let's get an exclamation mark high for the Nismar joining the show welcome in and uh, let's try and do this for real it's never taken us in in the 30 hours of playing this game and never having played or even seen gameplay of it before to, to influence my uh, performance at all, it's never taken us more than three deaths to kill any boss. So this would be the deciding factor on this 